Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean by any means. There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated. Y'all, y'all know y'all wanna know one excuse I'm tired of in boxing. I'm tired of the age excuse. I'm tired of the accolades excuse. I'm tired of, well, this happened. 2015 ain't got nothing to do with 2024. Let's talk about it. It's funny, man, because Canelo Alvarez got more fights than everybody in boxing. But we hold him to the standard. You fighting Belonga. We ain't asked for that. You ain't giving us what we want. But then when it comes to Terrence Crawford not fighting the best, the people that we know we want to see him fight, everybody got excuses about why it's okay for him to not fight the best fighters. Everybody got an excuse about why it's okay for Loma to not fight the best fighters. If anybody deserved that excuse, it should be Canelo Alvarez. He has done more than all of those guys. If you're going to use that excuse, he has more wear and tear, has the better resume. So we shouldn't be saying nothing to Canelo about who he chose to fight. No. As long as you are a champion, as long as you are an active name in the weight division, if you want to be undisputed, can, um, Terrence Crawford and Lomachenko both say they want to be undisputed at their respective weight divisions. Well, that means you have to fight champions. Well, that means you actually have to fight the best fighters available. I'm tired of this age excuse about a guy, well, he did this, he did, and, and, so what? That don't mean that he ain't got, he could just cherry pick now. That don't mean that. And y'all earthmen are the ones that are messing up boxing with that thought process. Loma 36, he tried to fight Tank, even though that is a lie. He tried to fight Tank six years ago. Bud 37. Jerron Ennis turned down. He went to a different sanction in body. Jerron, Jerron Ennis was offered a fight by BLK, even though all of that is BS. What does that have to do with today? Six years ago, two of my kids wasn't even born. And so that means today I ain't got to take care of them because six years ago they didn't exist. Are you fighting or not? Are you a boxer or not? Do you want big paydays? Do you want to be on pay-per-view? Well, that comes with you got to give us somebody that we actually want to see you fight against. Boxers have a responsibility to entertain. Period. If you're going to hold Canelo to that standard, then you need to hold everybody to that standard, no matter their age or what they've done. Okay, if you are too old, well, get out the way. That's what Floyd Mayweather's did. You too old, retire. Sugar Ray Leonard took off five years, came back, and became world champion. So did Muhammad Ali. I don't want to hear about no age thing. When George Foreman came back and was 44 years old and became the heavyweight champ of the world. LeBron don't get an excuse for the Lakers to be trash because he's been in it for 20-something years. Lakers fans won a championship, and that should be his goal, no matter what he did in the past. This is boxing. Get with it or get lost. Like Gervonta Davis said, I don't get too hype about no wins because until my career is over, I got to do what? I got to do it again. Shout out to Gervonta Tank Davis for understanding that part of it. Oh, Canelo now fighting David Benavidez. But then when I say Terrence Crawford ain't fighting Jerron ah, they're not in the same weight class, y'all. David Benavidez and Canelo Alvarez are no longer in the same weight class. Use the same argument now. So because David Benavidez is at 175, Canelo don't have to fight him now, I guess.
Hold on. Shakur Stevenson said Lomachenko ducked him a couple years ago. So that means now that if he fights Lomachenko, neither one of them should get credit because what happened in the past is the past. It's mighty funny how y'all okay with Shakur Stevenson fighting Lomachenko. But then Javante Davis was trying to fight him, and now the guy say he's unmotivated, but arguing with Shakur Stevenson on the sideline is perfectly okay. You know what y'all say? Well, Dean, he tried to fight Tank six years ago. When? When did Bob Arum ever send Tank a contract when Loma was the A-side? If you're going to say Loma was trying to fight him six years ago, then that means he has the responsibility of the A-side that y'all put on Javante Davis. Did Loma ever send a contract to Devontae Davis? When it was, show me one video where Lomachenko called out Javante Davis. Show me one. So if, if he did try to fight him six years ago, right? Six years ago, eight years ago, because y'all get confused on the timeline. Y'all say six, some people say eight. Lomachenko was the A-side, wasn't he? Why Bob Arum ain't send a contract? Why Bob Arum ain't in the contract then? You see how y'all like to pick and choose? You see how y'all like to pick and choose? You want to use that Lomachenko argument? Fine. Then that means Lomachenko was the one that didn't try to make the fight because he left the weight class and never sent Gervonta a contract. Never. Oh, but he could be all hype about the fight Shakur Stevenson talking about he could go in the ring right now and fight the men. I am not trying to hear no excuses from no boxers that are trying to be active fighters, trying to hold up divisions. We want to see you. You don't tell us who we want you to see. I got boxing fans out here mad at me because I say we want to see Bud Crawford versus Jerron in this. We do. It ain't one fighter fighting right now that we would rather see Terrence Crawford fight than Jarrah Ennis. Guess the name that y'all gonna bring up. We want to see him fight Canelo. Well, Canelo don't want to fight Terrence Crawford for the same reasons Terrence Crawford don't want to fight Jarrah Ennis. Deal with it. Like it. Love it. What's good for the goose gotta be good for the gander. That's for all the earthmen in the back. Shout out to all my earthmen. Oh, yeah, we cooking with Fritz. Fish grease today, tonight, we are cooking with fish grease. I am tired of the age excuse. Get with it or watch out. If you watch Gilbert Arena's podcast, you know what Brandon Jennings and Rashad McCann say. Watch out. Watch out then. Get out the way. LeBron James got a responsibility as long as he lacing them up. You can't do it no more or retire. George Foreman could come back at 44 and say, I want to be the champ, but I don't want to fight the best people out there. He didn't have that option. Shout out to George Foreman. What y'all not going to do is corrupt the sport that I love with that BS mindset, with that BS thinking. I don't care how old you is. Are you trying to fight? Do you want to get to a belt? If you do, if that is your goal, then be quiet and fight who we say we want to see you fight. Especially Terrence Crawford. You know why? You know why Terrence Crawford should fight the guys we want to see him fight? Jerron Ennis, Jerron Ennis, Jerron Ennis. You know why? Because Terrence Crawford said he want to make the most money. The only way to make the most money is to fight people that the fans actually want to see. Thank you. Don't argue with me about what you think. I'm telling you what Bud Crawford said himself about what he wants with his career. Oh, yeah, y'all. Being undisputed at 154 was second to the money. Being undisputed at 154 was second to the money. That's what Terrence Crawford said. Don't argue with Dean. For all my earthmen, for all my earthmen, everybody from, from, from universe to universe, as long as you lacing them up, we tell you who we want you to fight. I don't care how old you is. Get with it or get lost. 
get with it or get lost. Watch out. Move out the way, old man. Because you're holding up divisions by keeping belts. That's also the truth, too. What has Jerron Ennis accomplished? Well, Jerron Ennis will probably be on his way to Undisputed right now if, uh, if Terrence Crawford wasn't holding up the belts at 147 for the whole 2024. But y'all okay with that. But then try to use the argument against Jerron Ennis and talk about what he accomplished, knowing that if Bud Crawford would have dropped those belts, then Jerron Ennis will probably be on his way to Undisputed in 2024. Like it, love it. Y'all know what this is. Bing, by any means. And I holla at y'all.